director of the downtown east side sets up. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you this afternoon. And I'm going to try to keep my remarks short as well. Um, I'm a member of the ZSAC committee, but I'm also um, wearing a number of hats this afternoon. <clears throat> I'm the founder and the CEO of Buy Social Canada. I'm the chair of the Social Enterprise Council of Canada. I also chair the Social Enterprise World Forum. So I have an amazing opportunity oftentimes to see what's going on. And you'll probably be pleased to know that the Newfoundland Labrador legislation this afternoon is discussing a social enterprise strategy for that province which is a real amazing breakthrough as you are sitting here talking about a community economic development strategy for the downtown east side. You really have to be complimented and you have to understand the leadership role that you are accepting as a community, as a municipality, that's willing to look at a shift in relationship between government and community. I started working in CED, and Wes and I were trying to figure out like how long ago it was, but there was a different Trudeau who was Prime Minister at the time. And my experience has allowed me to, to work in many different communities, and I started working in the downtown east side in 2000. In 2001, the Vancouver Agreement spent $250,000 to bring in consultants to tell the downtown east side how they should become an economic development engine. It went nowhere. In 2005, senior government funded a program and decided that outside people would be better in telling the community how to run their community and be successful in building a healthy community. I compliment you again in supporting the beginning of the community economic development strategy because you're shifting the relationship between the community and government. You're shifting not only leadership, but you're shifting the way we look at community development. This is not about economic development without social development. This is not about anti-gentrification. It's about diversity of an economy. It's not about employment only for a sector of the community. It's about employment for all members of the community. And as Matt said, poverty is the loss of prosperity. What we're talking about in community economic development is how do we bring prosperity to all members of the community. And so I really want to thank you for what you've done so far and want to really encourage you to support the proposal in front of you to continue this effort. Because it's not just proposals and the funding that you're approving. You're actually approving a new relationship with the community. So I want to congratulate you and recommend we stay on that course. Thank you, Mr. LePage. Um, I did, I had a question for you. Um, several speakers, including yourself, have referenced the Vancouver Agreement and the 2004 economic strategy. Um, it, is, it does bring to mind the challenge of sustaining a strategy. So this is phase two. There are, um, I don't think the, or the Vancouver Agreement ever made it beyond phase two. So it's a question about how do you continue the commitment. There's lots of pieces in here that won't mean a lot for people if they're not acted on over a longer period of time. Yeah, and I think, thank you, I think the real important thing to remember, and that's why I think this process that you're supporting is really an element that allows the continuation. Because in the past, most of the economic development has been from outside the community, directing the community on how to be successful. But when we start to change the conversation to ask the community what will be important and what are the biggest investments that are needed. And not just low income community, but the neighborhoods, the BIAs, the small businesses. And I think we're starting to see a shift that is not just the city that has to be doing this. Uh, Wes referenced the efforts that BC Housing is working in terms of commercial diversification and including retail space as a way to, to improve the opportunities for the low-income uh, businesses as well as creating employment. Uh, social purchasing, that's been mentioned a number of times, is about anchor institutions, but it's also about other levels of government becoming involved. Um, two weeks ago, I testified uh, in front of uh, Parliament on Bill 227, which would allow the federal government to put a social purpose on all infrastructure. So as we enter into infrastructure investments in the Vancouver area, we will have the opportunity to leverage the federal money 
in, in terms of how that contributes to a CED strategy as well. So I think this partnership is not just the city with the community, it's actually a shift of the city, the private sector, and the community and government working together. That's great. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming today.